the problem. Hello, guys. Welcome back to SWS Boxing. Delighted to get back on the channel. Grant Dennis, he is now 18 wins with six defeats, and he's back out fighting James Osborne over 10 rounds at the Brentwood Centre, Feb 10th, on the Top Tier Show. And, yes, glad to get you back on, mate. Oh, thank you. It's nice to be back on, mate. Cheers for having me. And um, I think I got you on before... Yeah, I had you on before you fought um, Ajarko. I think it was, yeah. I think, um, yeah, it was around that time. Yeah, yeah. It was, yeah. Uh, yeah, just talk about that fight. Um, it was a good fight. Um, great atmosphere there in Dublin. Um, you know, I walk away, you know, not overly happy because I didn't get the win, but I'll take the positives and I'll work on the negatives from that fight. I could have put my foot down a little bit more. And, um, you know, I think I established a jab quite well in that fight and I caught him with some good shots. Um, the scorecards were a bit wider than I thought mm. they were, but, you know, that's how it goes. That's the game we're in. I thought, yeah, 100%, They it wasn't 100 to 90. I thought maybe if you, I thought maybe you had two or three rounds. Yeah, that's what I thought. I thought he he, he won the fight, I believe, by, yeah. by a couple, but it weren't no shutout fight. And um, I think most people knew that, you know what I mean? You had good, you had some success in that fight with the jab. I did do the jab. I, I know I hurt him in about, you know, the seventh round. I think I hurt him. Do you He's regret got... not jumping on him? I do a little bit, but I know he's smart and I know he's sharp. So um, mm. I keep my, my my mind, you know, um, you know, on a level on a level field there because he was hurt, but he's got a good chin. You could see his legs wobble in that seventh round when I caught him with a left hook. But I didn't want to. I didn't want to smother my work, and I didn't want to um, you know, jump into unnecessary shot because yeah, because you know that he he's also a big hitter as well. Punch man, he can punch and, and 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 he's got good good fundamentals. He's very he's very smart, you know what I mean. So, you know, it was a good fight. It was a good good learning fight for me. Like I say, I should have maybe jumped on him a little bit, but um, that's how it goes. I'll learn from that, you know. Mm -hmm. And um, of course, you did say in the build up that you did spar him. Was that how you were e expecting him to fight? Yeah, I just I know he's good. Like, I know he's a good sharp, you know. Come for it. You know what? I think I stopped him coming forward quite a bit because I thought my jab was quite good, and um, he wasn't able to 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 read it as much as I, I guess he might have thought. You know what I'm saying? So um, uh, I was expecting him to be a little bit more, you know, throw a little bit more power shots and stuff. But I believe that quite early on, I got his respect because I am quite heavy handed myself. So. It was a good fight, man. And listen, I like Keevan. He's cool. We were cool before it. We're cool after it. And um, it was just a good fight. And um, no doubt he'll go on and do great things in his career as I'm doing in mine and continuing to to chase titles for me. You know. His um, and then Keenan fought. Um, he fought Troy. That was a good fight, wasn't it? Yeah, that was a very good fight. Um, he looked very good in that fight. Um. You know, styles make fights. You know, so I be he looked he looked great in that fight. And if I do say so myself, I like Troy. He's a good, very, very good fighter. Yeah. But he even looked um, he looked classy in that fight. Very good. Mm, he did. Um, yeah. And then you fought you fought in November, and you fought Mark Dickinson in the Newcastle Arena. Correct. Yep. 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 Um. Yeah. Before, I was only before we get into the fight, talk about um. The whole uh, build up to the fight. What me and him, or just my camp? Um, like a bit about your camp and a bit of about that. Um, was it sort of head to head on fight week that you sort of did? Yeah, yeah. He just, he was just giving it. He was just and, and hype and excited. I think you know. What I mean, I've been there, done that, got the t shirt. I just found it quite funny. But um, leading up to the fight, it wasn't a good preparation for me. I had to lose uh, quite a bit of weight. Um, in a short period of time, and literally only a twenty percent Grant Dennis got in that ring. I, I was nowhere near. It was, I haven't even watched it because watching that fight will be watching someone I don't know. I don't know that man that was in that ring that night because I wasn't there. It was would a you ghost. Say you felt, no, uh, would you say you were a bit drained? Totally drained. Totally drained. I was only like eating silly amounts of calories a day, um, trying to make that weight. I've never missed weight ever. Ever in the ten years I've been a professional, I've never missed weight, and um, 
I just I I I took so much out of my body that um yeah I I, I maybe not should I shouldn't maybe not have been in there. Were you hurt? Of course, he did put you down. Were you hurt? No, never hurt. Never hurt. Just my legs weren't there. I had no energy. I had nothing in there. So like, even though you know I refueled after the weigh and stuff, I had nothing there in my body. I would. I literally was a ghost of myself, and that's no excuse. It's fair play to Mark Dickinson. He's oh, he's so a good. You didn't. You didn't feel good when you were warming up or anything. Good at all. I didn't feel good at all. And when when the bell started, all I I started bouncing around. I was thinking. Who is this guy? I don't. I didn't feel like me. You know what I'm saying. So, um, not like I say, I can make all the excuses in the world. He won on the night. Um, he's a good fighter, but that he only had a twenty percent Grant Dennis that night, and that and that's the truth. That's how it is. Would Would you have said if like the English? Of course, it was an English eliminator. Would you say maybe if it wasn't for like that sort of eliminator, then that fight might have not gone ahead, or you know, just take every fight as it comes. Possibly in my head, like the week leading up to the fight, I knew I was gonna, I was, I was struggling at the weight just because trying to get it off, and to you know, I have to be healthy. I have to get in that ring with my my faculties, and my body has to be good. Any athlete does, and I knew leading up to that that I, I, I wanted the fight. I thought a thirty percent Grant Dennis could beat him, but evidently, you know, I wasn't even thirty percent. I was twenty percent, and like I say, the guy that got in that ring that night wasn't me. That wasn't me. Mm. But you've got um, a chance to um, you, you back out and you're in another big fight. You only take big fights, don't you? I only want big fights. There's, there's no point in me going backwards. You always have to strive to, you know, keep moving forward. And I think this this fight coming up is uh, against another unbeaten boy. Um, and for me, it's about getting back to winning ways and and chasing chasing the honors that I believe that I can get. Mm-hmm. Um, of course, you're you're topping the bill. I mean, you fought on the top tier show, uh, the first top tier show, and you were the first um, fighter yeah, yeah, yeah. to pretty much walk out on a top tier show. And now you, from starting it, and now you you you're back on it, and now you're headlining. Well, that's what it's about progression, right? And uh, and it's it's an honor to be like the headliner, um, top of the bill with um, like I say, Aussie and um. It's going to be a great fight. It's going to be a good show. All them top tier shows, they're always great shows. Truly puts on amazing, amazing shows there. And um, yeah, it's just great to be a part of. And uh, like I say, it's, it's going to be a great fight on the night. Mm -hmm. Talk about, um, of course, you had the, the media day. I think it was either yeah. last week or the week before. Um, and you had, um, you had, um, you came face to face to him for the, the first time. How was that? Yeah. Yeah, cool. He's a white dude. Listen, we just got a job to do. There's no animosity there. Nothing, nothing underwall. No, no rubbish and all that talking. If we get down to business. We punch each other. We shake hands after. And like I say, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be so on the ball with this fight. I'm, I feel great. I'm in great shape right now. I've got four weeks to go, and I could fight tomorrow. And um, I'm training for this fight like, like I'm fighting a world champ. So. For me, it's all about getting back, getting that W, getting back to winning ways and, and showing the best version of Grant Dennis, what people know and, and more importantly, what I know I can be. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Of course. Um, what, what do you know about James Osborne? Of course, he fought the night you fought Mamadov on the top tier show where he got a knockout against a, an unbeaten prospect in Ray Bear. Did you watch yeah. that fight? I didn't. I don't think I saw the fight. Um. I don't think I did see it, like, um, but I, I think I've seen it on um, on highlights after. Um, yeah, like he, he seems like a, a, got great fundamentals. I think he's quite strong, southpaw. Listen, it, it, no offense to him, it's nothing that I haven't seen before, haven't been in with before. Uh, like I say, I'm preparing for the best version of him, and I'm going to be the best, best version of me. Um, it's all about my skill set, my IQ, and it's about you know shutting out what he can do and I know I can do that you know what I mean so yeah you're going to see a very very good display from me on on the 10th of February do you feel like you're um of course he's only I think he's done the six rounds um he's only been six rounds do you feel like um the back end of the fight is where like your experience will play a factor 
Well, that's all that the proofs in the pudding there. I don't know. I know that he's a fit lad and, and has sparred 10 rounds and, and and done 12 rounds and stuff. So, listen, if you can do six rounds, you can do eight rounds, you can do 10 rounds, you can do 12. You've got, you've got it in there as a fighter. But my experience, I've done that. I've done 10 rounds quite a bit. Um, will it tell? I think my experience from, from round one will tell because it's not just about them later rounds as well. It's about, you know, setting a pace and, mm. and putting my own stamp on the fight early as well. So um, we will see. Um, for me, it's all about just going out there, proving a point to myself and being the best version of me on the night, which you're going to get. I'm buzzing for this fight. I'm hype about it. I'm very, very motivated. And um, you're going to see the very best Grand Dennis. Very best Grand Dennis. Do you put pressure on yourself for this fight? I put pressure on myself for every, every fight, for every spot. I've got to be good. And it's as simple as that. I've got to be winning. I don't care if what, what the matchmakers and what the bookies say. I'm always put myself as, as the, as the front runner. Uh, I've got to, do you know what I'm saying? And um, that's that. That's that. The only pressure I feel is the pressure I put on myself. Mm -hmm. And for fans who want to come and support you, how much are the tickets? I, I've personally got sixty pound tickets and a hundred pound VIP tickets, so you can get hold of me on all my social networks. Um, if you if um, people want to come, yeah, just get hold of me and um, I can deliver them or send them via post, etc. Mm -hmm. Would you say this is like the um, like the last big roll of the dice for you? No. no. Or no, just take, you know the usual saying: take every fight as it comes. Um, it's nice. Do you know what I'm saying? For me, uh, this is just an, another fight. It's a it's a fight that I'm gonna win, and I'm gonna win in style. For me, then to progress to to where it is, I want to go, and and I I will not overlook this guy. Like I say, I train for him like he's the world champion. Do I want bigger honors than than fighting Aussie? Of course I do. Do you know what I'm saying? I want to fight for for titles and stuff like that. This isn't for a title. This isn't this isn't for anything. But yeah, I but want... I'm sure the winner of this fight gets will put themselves in a title opportunity. Every fight, you're only one win away from from getting a, another big opportunity. So yeah, I've got to be on the ball with this game and with this guy. I've got to look good and I've got to be like I say the best version of me for me to get them other opportunities for bigger titles. Of course, you you put on, uh, I think it was your story earlier, you put on uh, your ranking, I think you you said, I think you're ranked 17th in Britain or 16th? 16th, yeah, I'm ranked number 16. Off the back of a couple of losses, still mm. not a position to be in. Do you know what I mean for me? And um, yeah, so I'm ranked number 16. Mm -hmm. And do you feel like this win would push you on? Would you Do you think that Aussie's like the your hardest opponent today or...? No, <laughs> like truthfully, no, he's not my hardest opponent, but he's he's my hardest opponent now because I'm just about to fight him. So it, I, I'll tell you on the 11th of February, do you know what I'm saying? That's your, but on on paper, no, he's not, he's definitely not my hardest opponent. Um, I, I couldn't tell you who my hardest opponent was, to be honest, today, because everyone has their own, their own, um, strengths and weaknesses. Do you know what I'm who's saying? The, who's the hardest hitter that you've been in there with, whether that's sparring? Or in the in your pro career, hardest hitter I've been in with, you know, um, you know what, John Ryder punches very hard. I've I've done I've shared rounds with John Ryder, mm. Leon McKenzie, um, punches hard. He punches very hard. Um, there's few man. I've been I, I, listen. I've I spied you, Bank. He punches hard. Billy Joe, he's got a thump on him. People might look at him because he's so he's got such a skill set and he's got so um great fundamentals and, and footwork, et cetera, et cetera, and skills. But he can whack, mate. He can really whack Billy Joe. I've been in with a lot, you know, I've been in with some of the top boys in I was in the world, let alone the country. So yeah. you, you mentioned Ryder, of course he's fighting um Mungia, is that how you say it? Mung Mungia or something. Mungia? Yeah. yeah. Uh do you think he'll win that fight? I hope he does. I always back John. He's a he's a good guy, you know what I mean? So he he's got like I say he's a great fighter. He's what this sport is about. You know what I mean. He doesn't back out of a fight. He doesn't duck anyone. He goes in the lions den and does his thing. So I really hope yeah, he does it. I really hope he does it. Do you know what I mean? He deserves it. Do you know what I'm saying? So um, 
I'm behind John on that one. But yeah, he's one of the best I've been in with. Like I say, I've been in with some of the top. Um, Felix Cash, he can whack. So yeah, some of these boys. Um, listen, you're above ten and a half, eleven stone. Most people who are, who are professional athletes, they can hit, they can whack. You know what I mean? You're strong. So a lot of these guys that you get in with, they can hit. Linus Adolfia is another one. Of course, he's got. Um, he's fighting. Uh, I think. Th- yeah, this up and coming week, he's got. Uh, I think he's fighting uh, McKenna on the 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 Sky Sports Show. That's right. Yeah, yeah. That's it. Yep. That's, so that's, it. that's a good fight. Very good fight. Yep. I, I'm I'm backing my boy Linus there. You know. I'll, yeah. He's, hey, Linus is um he's so intelligent. When you get in there with him, you do something. He'll do something. You'll do something. He'll try and figure it out. Me and him, we're like a chess match in there. It's um. It's great sparring, great rounds with Linus. And, and like I say, he's my boy. I've not long got off the phone to him, funny enough. Who have you been sparring this this camp, like? Oh, a few people. Tomorrow I'm actually sparring, I think it's, um, I forgot his name, mate. It was a guy from it's William Webber or something like that. I'm just trying to find he good stuff. He's Southern Area champion. He is, yeah. So... So we're we're trying to get good good fundamental rounds in and good rounds in. I've always got people like Louis Green, even though he's not a southpaw, he always brings very really good work, especially with that. And pressure. he's he's like he's aggressive and so's Aussie. Like he comes forward, he likes to scrap, and Aussie likes to scrap as well. So I, I like we we me and Louis have done hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of rounds together. Again, he's my friend. Um, yeah, I, we're bringing more people in. At, look, we got what four weeks to go, so hmm. the, the spy going to step up even more. Mm-hmm. Can we expect a knockout from you? Listen, there's always a chance. All the time, I've got these. You know, if if the, if I see the opportunity, or he walks into one, he can't be dumb against me, can he? So otherwise, he will get stopped. So if he starts, if I see an opening, I'll take it. Um, like I say, I've got to be, I've got to be smart here and just use what it is and put a game plan into play that 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 we're working on. Mm-hmm. And um, what can fans expect from you? The very best. I've got a point to prove, not to anyone but myself. You know what I mean? Because of that last that last fight. Um, like I say, I've not even watched that last fight because that weren't me really. So, I um. I just want to put on a good performance for all the people that have supported me over the years. Like I say, this is my 10th year as a professional fighter and uh, there's still more to come. I've only, I've, I've not shown every single thing in my arsenal. Um, I've only shown bits of it. I, I know there's so much more to come out and uh, a lot more is going to come out in this fight. A lot more. Mm-hmm. Uh, do you feel like you, you two will steal the show? Well, that's the plan, you know, that is the plan. Hopefully, get your popcorn ready, get your whistles ready and your hats, because it's going to be a show, it's going to be on. It's it's on, like, do you know what I'm saying? If he comes with that aggressive nature, then, uh, listen, fights like, fighters like that are five off of, you know what I mean? So, I think he's a good fighter, man. I think he's decent, but I feel that my boxing ability, my IQ, my strength, my speed is is is, is all wrong for him. And, you know, that's what I'm going to do. Mm-hmm. And and before I let you go, Grant, do you want to thank managers, anybody who's helping you? Yeah, everyone knows who they are. I'd like to thank my man, like like my manager Lee. Eaton. He's done great things for me since that uh, becoming my manager. Um, all my sponsors, they know who they are. Uh, trainer Veron, my brother Jordan, everyone, my family, my kids, everyone that that's supporting me right now. Like all my family, um. Yeah, man, that's what it's about, bro. That's what it's about. Family and friends supporting me. And like I say, Pat Hawley, my brother, they all know who they are. There's too many of them. Mm-hmm. And from me, Grant, thank you for your time as always. And good luck on Feb 10th. All the best. I appreciate it, buddy. Thank you. Thank you, Grant. Enjoy the Thanks. rest of your evening. Top man, take care.